Crossing guard in West Valley City, really getting into the job, dressing up Courtney this. as a traffic cone for her. It's really a fun way to get driver's attention and to send a message about safety, she says. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly has that story. Have a good day. Today, if you were driving around Gerald L. Wright Elementary School, you might have come across something big, bright, and orange. They cannot miss this. <laughs> Whitney Durfee, a crossing guard from Vineyard, dressed up as a traffic cone to bring awareness to safety in school zones. People react really differently. A lot of smiles, a lot of laughter, and it's been fun. But she says it shouldn't have to take a giant cone to get drivers to stop. Whitney says she's seen a few close calls, including a recent one where a car stopped just a foot away from her. They rolled down the window, said sorry that they were just on their way to get their child from school. And I'm a mom and I need to get my kids home from school as well. Diana Harmon, a crossing guard at the school, was out there today too, saying she's almost been ran over on multiple occasions. This year has been worse than any other year I've worked. I've worked for seven years. And I think the drivers are extremely distracted. Officials with UDOT say there were 54 pedestrian fatalities last year. That was a high that we haven't seen in a very long time. Um, and, and so this is one reason why we really want to focus on it this year. And so far this year, there have been nine, although none of those have been in school crosswalks. Whitney and Diana say they hope to see drivers taking extra caution so crossing guards and kids can get home safely. You want to act as if those kids are your own kids because obviously we don't want anything to happen to our own children and to just be safe while you drive.